This is Naina Curley of Wamda Media. I'm chatting with Wa'al Atili, the founder of Harabish, an online Arabic entertainment company. Wa'al, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How's everything? Things are great. Um, so basically, you guys have grown a lot in the last three years. You now employ 100 people. Um, you've scaled to reach the entire region. You've open, opened offices in Tunisia and, uh, and, and, and Egypt, okay, and the UAE. Um, how many content streams do you have now, and how do you reach your audience? We have about uh, 55 uh, uh, shows and 86 channels. Uh, some of uh, our channels are basically not in a format of a show, but we have around uh, 86 channels under our YouTube uh, network. We have also uh, five major brands or cha major channels under it. We have different shows. We have the first channel is basically cartoon for adults. Uh, the other one is basically uh, Tahshish, which is uh, a, a brand for uh, comedy. It's our comedy center. And uh, we have music productions uh, on YouTube. We are managing music productions on YouTube under the brand Dosha. And uh, we have uh, a, a brand called Kharabish Street. And under Kharabish Street, we have all the uh, uh, sh talk shows, uh, constructive shows, uh, shows of video blogging, all these uh, stuff that is not, uh, that is targeting 25 and above. Uh, and then we have the uh, cartoon and comics uh, channel under. How do you monetize all of this content and what do you think the best way for a, you know, a young or growing entertainment company is to monetize that content? Well, first, as an entertainment industry, you are selling your influence and viewership and uh, users. So, so basically, uh, we monetize the effectiveness of our uh, shows. Some of our shows, they got uh, head show, they become head shows, and then they it it become easy for us to sell sponsorship, product placement, advertising inside these uh, these shows. And uh, the other thing is uh, we are a YouTube partner, so we monetize and leverage on the advertising that comes from the YouTube videos and advertising comes from YouTube. And the third one is basically we sell this content to other uh, platforms uh, such as TV or such as uh, mobile. It's a, it's a new business model where you have, uh, um, uh, where you produce uh, high quality content with uh, low cost production but with, and, and zero cost publishing. This will give you a much more bigger margin for a profit. And I guess part of your trial and error has also been um, launching an offline series, which you um, opened in Amman earlier this year, which was hugely successful. Why did you guys decide to go into offline? Basically, it's a part of, you know, monetizing on your uh, brands and celebrities and your success, you know. And uh, uh, through this event, we actually knew exactly our audience and we saw them. Uh, and we, we, we measured the influence that we had uh, on our shows. And it was for the first time uh, we, we, we see uh, young celebrities coming out of from YouTube and people are waiting to get their autograph. Uh, this, is, uh, this, uh, this is something that we've never been able to see uh, before. What is the secret to your success? If you could sum up a couple of adjectives about your culture, what is it? Well, success is not only one thing. It's a, uh, you know, it's, it's on stages. And each stage, there is a different kind of secret how you deal with it. So in early stage, um, a good partnership and uh, goodwill is very important uh, for success. Uh, uh, believing in what you're doing is very important as well uh, in your success because if you don't believe in what you're doing then uh, you will not be able to continue and uh, the most dangerous thing is that you do something that you don't believe in uh, the other thing is that stamina and uh, continuing what you're doing and uh, managing your expectation of you know uh, not expecting to uh, reach the level that you want uh, in an easy, fast way. It's going to be a very long journey, very hard uh, way. So you need to expect the worst and work and hope for the better. Are your wife and your young daughter, are they supportive? Well, my kids are uh, supportive, but I don't know. I'm not sure if they understand what, uh, what I'm doing. 
but my wife is really 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 supportive and this is uh, also another key uh, key issue of success uh, the support of your family and the people who, who are behind you uh, imagine if if my because I, I, we've been in a very bad situation where we don't have uh, for example salaries for long long time months and months we, we've been not able to, to get our salaries as founders but you pay for the employees but you don't pay for yourself because at the end of the day uh, you want to save the business so imagine if your families and friend, if your family could not stand this uh, I think yani, uh, at one point without uh, the support of the family we would crumble I'm glad that you've continued to be successful thanks for sharing all of your insights with us you're welcome thank you welcome. thank you Thank you.